This video is just a quick overview of the concept of what a Facebook pixel is. Uh, coming back from the social media workshop, I've been in numerous conversations from people who attended that weren't quite sure of what it was or how it works. So the first thing you need to know is that you have to have it. And in a nutshell, the Facebook pixel is just a piece of code that you put on your website so that you can retarget the people who have visited your website. So basically what's happening is a person goes to your website at some point throughout the day and at night or any other time they're perusing their Facebook feed and miraculously an ad from your business will come up in their Facebook feed. How did it get there? Well, it got there because they had a Facebook pixel that was pasted in their website that tracked you. So we're going to break this up into two completely different columns. Your Facebook pixel itself and your Facebook ads and your boosted posts. And I think this is where the confusion lies because these are completely different things. These are two completely separate thought processes and ideas. The Facebook pixel itself is just a piece of code that you create through your Facebook account. I'm not going to show you how to do that today, uh, maybe in a future video. I just want to explain how this concept works. So you're going to create this Facebook pixel code in your Facebook account and you're going to take it and you're going to paste it in the head of your website. In order to do this, you're going to need access to your HTML code. Uh, if you don't have access, call your IT professional. Uh, if he can't help you or he's going to charge you an arm and a leg to do it, give me a call and I'll see if I can help you with it because it's a very simple process. But you're going to take that Facebook pixel code, you're going to paste it in the header of all your pages on your website, and then you're going to forget about it. You're only going to create one Facebook pixel. That's all you need and you're going to use it for everything else that you do. So once you've got that in the head of your website on all your pages, you don't worry about it again. So now in your Facebook feed, you're going to be creating ads and you're also going to boost posts of your content. And when you do that, it's going to give you some options. So you have to create an audience. So when you boost a post or you create an ad, it's going to ask you for your audience. Sometimes it's going to be just a ring of people around your area. Sometimes you might pick Facebook friends and their friends. In this particular case, we're going to pick what are called conversions. And what a conversion is, is a person that came over to your website and visit it at some point. It's not necessarily connected to this. Somebody could have found your website through a friend. They could have found it through a Google search. They could have found it through Facebook. They could have randomly found it. It doesn't necessarily have to be through Facebook that they got on your website. They just need to get on it. And this pixel is going to track that they were there. And then when you go create your ad over here on Facebook or your boosted post, you're going to choose conversions. And those conversions are people who have somehow found your website and got on it, no matter how they found it. So on Tuesday afternoon, they stumbled across your website. They clicked on a few pages. The pixel tracked that they were there. By itself, the pixel doesn't do anything. But now when you create your ad under Facebook or your boosted post and you choose conversions, it's going to go find those people that were on your website. So if that guy was on your website on Tuesday afternoon and then Friday night, Saturday morning, Sunday, he went on his Facebook feed, your Facebook ad will trigger and say this was a conversion from your website and it will only show it to those people that you chose. So now once this is on your website and you start creating ads and you start boosting posts and you choose that conversion, 
you've got a directed audience of people who are already on your website and saw what you were all about. Maybe they came to the website and it wasn't the right time for them to buy. But now every single time they go to their Facebook feed, your ad's gonna pop up in their feed because it's tracking the pixel that was on your website. So in a nutshell, that's basically how the Facebook pixel works. To summarize, you're gonna create a pixel, it's gonna give you some code, you're gonna put that code on your website, on all your pages on your website, and then you're gonna to go to your Facebook ads and your boosted posts, and when you create that ad or you boost that post, you're gonna choose the audience of conversions, which are people that have went on your website. And then later, when they go on their Facebook feed, somehow, some way, at any point in time, it will start showing your ad to their Facebook feed because at some point they got on your website.